Hello, neighbor. <laughs> Couldn't help it, I'm putting on my shoes. It's... Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's a rainy afternoon and I have a couple of hours to myself here today. So I thought I would head out to Boulder Lake and try a shot I saw last time I was out there. But the rain was too heavy, the wind was too stiff, uh, it had actually turned to snow, it was cold, I didn't have all of the right equipment for to get the shot that was in my mind. So I'm going to go try it this afternoon. Conditions are similar, but not as bad as they were last time, but the mood and the atmosphere is kind of what I'm after. So we're heading out to Boulder Lake today, try to get a shot of a tree. Uh, it's a single tree on a little island out in the middle of a lake. So I have this in my mind, this very minimalistic kind of composure, uh, composition. If I can maintain my composure, I can get the composition uh, of this tree on an island out in the middle of a lake. So we're going to pack up and uh, head out there and see what we can find. Should be a fun afternoon. here at Boulder Lake and conditions for this picture that I have in my mind are looking pretty good. Not perfect, but nothing ever is. But they are looking really good. Um, it's kind of misty and moody here. Uh, and this is a place I come back to. Every time I'm home, I come back out here. I have had some good luck here. Uh, I think I got one of my early first good images here um, of a stump out in the water's edge, which is actually right over there. I took it near winter time, so the levels of this lake were, were much lower. Um, but I love this lake because it's just dotted with these tiny little islands. And there's trees growing on all of them. So they make for fun images. Um, and it's just fun to come out here and look and see all of this. So. The image I'm after today is of this one specific little tiny island, of this one specific little tree, and I can see it from here. So I'm gonna look for the best vantage point to get it. I've got a little bit of mist in the air from the rain and the clouds, so the background is kinda nondescript, which is perfect for this. The only thing that would make this absolutely perfect is if the sky opened up just a tiny little bit, and I got a single ray of light on that tree, but that might be asking for too much. But my little tree is out there. The trees behind it kind of obscured into mistiness. And I'm just shooting really simple. Uh, ISO 200, F9, 140th of a second. Polarizer, uh, which isn't really doing anything. I just threw it on there to see what it would do. It's not doing much, slowing my shutter speed down slightly. So I left it on there. Not doing me any good, not doing me any harm. So. Shutter release, push button, take picture. Ah, it's, it's never that easy. You never like have the shot in your mind and just walk up and then there it is and you're done. But, oh man, this one, this one came out just like I thought it would. So shooting, shooting with a 200 millimeter lens with a 2X teleconverter on there, this lens is typically, it's an F4. It's a 70-200 F4 lens. With a 2X converter on there, it becomes a 140 millimeter to 400 millimeter, but it also becomes an F8 lens. This is great. I'm gonna try just a couple of different vantage points on this, but so rarely does the image in your mind just happen. I walked up, plopped down my camera, pointed it in that direction, pushed the button. I have the image. 
This is so rare and so terrific. A couple more just for good measure. And we're gonna see uh, if we can find some other angles and even just some different compositions altogether. This is such a terrific spot. All right, so we've left the lake behind and entered the tree line here and the floor here. I don't know if you can really tell this, but the ground is just carpeted with leaves. As I mentioned, uh, fall, the fall color at any rate, has truly fallen. There is hardly a leaf left on a tree out here. So I'm kind of keeping my eye down to see if I can find a good composition, some fun patterns of leaves on the ground or maybe on a, one of these mossy rocks or a log. Uh, the raindrops are kind of these big glistening dewdrop because, well, it's raining. <laughs> so, whoop, and I think I just found one. Oh, this little leaf right here is kind of perfect. All right, it's a little bit ridiculous uh, how, how easily everything's coming today. Uh, so literally, just, I mean, the floor's littered with leaves. They're everywhere, and the rain's coming down, so there's just these big glistening raindrops on all these leaves. And I have right down here at the bottom of my camera, this one golden leaf in the middle of these very brown, very gray leaves. And it's got the one, still got the stem on it, this leaf. One golden stem that's kind of shooting off to the side. So shooting kind of straight down on this leaf. Uh, very simple, just manual focus, zooming in to get really sharp on those dew drops on this guy. Uh, and, and that's really kind of the gist of it. Just a ISO 50, F9, half a second exposure, two second timer. And that's it. Very simple, very clean. Hopefully very pretty, and I love it. So I'm gonna pack up, just kind of head up over this ridge. I see some possible really great silhouettes of some pine trees ahead of me. We're gonna go check that out, see if there's anything to be had of that. And other than that, I'm just gonna to continue to enjoy this rainy day. This is, oh, these, are, these days are rare and oh, so enjoyable. Everything's just kind of falling into place. It doesn't happen like this, people. This is not normal. But I'm happy about it. Closer, right in here. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. Let's go to the tripod here. All right. So I saw these two trees back here in the background. I think you can see them right back here. I saw those two trees and I just love the outline of them against the sheet gray sky. So I got the camera out and just kind of walked around to get some to find the composition and an angle that I liked it. Uh, and it turns out I like it kind of over there, shooting back that way, got the two trees. So I'm gonna grab the tripod so I can get just a lockdown steady shot of this. It, all right, so here we go. This is the shot, really simple. Kind of get, get the water droplets off the lens real quick. This is just, just the tr outline of these trees. It's just the shape of the trees. The mist behind them is just kind of barely making anything else readable. Um, doing F9, ISO 50, one fifteenth of a second, one thirteenth of a second. Click and done, that's it. And it's just these two trees standing out in the field all on their own, and I, and I love it. Um, let's see if I can, here's the image here. And that's, that's it, it's that simple. So fantastic. That, 
It was kind of a crazy, fantastic day. <laughs> but the rain keeps coming down. The sun is going down. The light is disappearing. I'm getting wet. My gear is getting wet. So I think we're gonna pack it up and call it a day. And a good day it was. I just wanna take this moment to thank you for coming along with me. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Ring the little bell icon for notifications of posting videos, my posting videos, and tell your friends. Also, please go visit my website, uh, www.toddhphoto.com. Uh, I've just recently included the option to download a digital copy of my images for one measly dollar. You can have a pretty image to put on your desktop computer. So please go check that out. So from Boulder Lake, here in Duluth, Minnesota, so long, and we'll see you next time.